Hey, Mike here with Mike's Bags, and today I'm reviewing the Coyote from B3 Cornhole. We'll go ahead and address real quick. I call it Coyote. Some of you may call it Coyotes. My wife calls them Coyote. I call them Coyote. I think it depends on where you were raised. In fact, we'll do a quick impromptu poll. I didn't think about this, but impromptu, drop a comment down below. Do you pronounce it Coyote or Coyote? For me, I like the Coyote because there's a better ring to it. You say B3 Coyote as opposed to B3 Coyote. So anyway, B3 Coyote. Let's go ahead and jump in. We'll start with the design here. And one thing I'm a little ashamed to admit, when I when these were released and I, I grabbed a set, I, I love the look of them. I didn't realize until I got it in my hands. There's actually a, a face, the face, the head of a coyote in these different shades here. I just thought it was different shades, different colors of the of the triangles here. I didn't realize it until I got them and said, oh, there's a coyote face in there. I like the I like the silliness of it, I like the way it looked. White red kind of, kind of sitting in there. Uh, I think it's phenomenal. Absolutely love it. Uh, these bags are ACO stamped, or you can get them AC with or without the stamp if you want. If you want the stamp, it's like $10 extra than it is without the stamp. So, and I'll get into prices later on this video, but they do come ACO stamped or ACO approved if you're looking for that. The materials on this bag, the slow side, this is that clone carpet. I've I've started reviewing a lot of bags. I've talked a lot about this, how I love this material over that Viper R carpet. So it's not the same as the Viper R carpet but it has a lot of similarities. It's very, it plays similar to that. A lot of people call it the Viper R carpet. It's not, but again, it, I think it's a better version of that carpet just because of the, of the, the way it's more, the consistency of the way it plays. This is a five speed material to me uh, all day long. It's pretty consistently a five on it. In fact, this material has become my favorite five speed material. I've really gotten rid of all of my bags that have that surefire slow side, you know, that or the reverse surefire, I've got rid of those. I've kind of gotten away from that linen slow side material that you see on like the, the Justice I reviewed from B3 or the Psycho X or Reynolds Victory. That, that linen. I just think what this bag does, everything those bags do well, and this what those bags struggle with, this bag actually does pretty well as well. So all in all, there's not really a downside to this material. So I, I like it. It's one of my favorite five speed materials. I've actually started adding quite a few of these bags to my arsenal, to my backpack, because I love throwing this material. Fast side, this is the same fast side as the B3 Ranger. It's the Pro Sniper, Deadhead, Viper Fast Side, 9 speed. You know, again, slides up any boards, any conditions, can push through and collect any bags. So you got multiple bags, it, it'll push through them really well. So you're looking at a 5, 9 speed bag on this. Template, it's that nice medium sweet spot template, the true 6x6 six six there. Uh, absolutely love the template. And the fill in here. This is a, it's, I think it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a mixed fill in here. It's, it's got a lot of the, the, the small disc in there as well as some smaller beads in there. So you get, you get, you get the, the mixed fill, which I really prefer the mixed fill over that 100% disc fill, but you don't lose the hand feel, right? Because it's, it's mostly that disc. It, it feels very fluid like you would on 100% small disc. So you get that nice hand feel to it. Plus this bag, this bag has that performance liner in it, which I talked about. The Ranger has it. The Justice has it. I really went in a lot of depth in the Justice video that I did about what I, how I think this performance liner changes or improves the performance of the bag. If you haven't seen that after this, go back and watch that if you want to get some more information on the performance liner. But what that is, is on the inside of this, on the other side of this carpet material is a really slick, smooth fabric that's, that's, that's attached there so that the fill, the, the beads, the resin never come in contact with this slower, stickier material. So it'll, it, it reduces the friction inside, which allows that, that, that fill to keep moving, right? It's, it's not being caught up in the slow material. It keeps wanting to flow, which helps it kind of drip into the hole a little bit, really kind of cascade and just slide right in the hole, melt in that hole. Uh, it, 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 and, and it really makes a difference here. The other side that you really difference is the hand feel, right? This is a fairly floppy back. It, it, it's got a lot of flop to it. It plays, you get the benefits, the forgiveness you would have a floppy bag, but because of that liner, it gives it a fuller hand feel. So in the hand, it feels like a fuller bag. And that's why people like a fuller bag because sometimes a floppy bag, you just don't like to hold it, but when you, the fuller bag just feels better in the hand. So you get the hand feel of a fuller bag, but you get the forgiveness for a floppy bag. Again, it's kind of like the best of both worlds there. And I'm going to be saying with a lot, this bag is right in the middle and does a lot of things really well on both sides of the fin. It's really a phenomenal bag for a lot of people, a lot of type of players. So we got a 5.9 speed bag here, and for playability on this, again, it's a super versatile bag. I tell you a lot, but this is really is a versatile bag as far as you can run bags in the hole with it, right? You can slide back, you can slide back to the board, put your four bags in, outscore your opponent. Both these materials are very hole friendly, and I know carpet has that that stigmatism uh, uh, of of being a a a hole clogger, of hanging on the hole and not wanting to drip in. This material doesn't do it. In fact, this material is more hole friendly than that surefire material. So if you're used to playing a surefire and you're fine with that, you're going to be amazed with this material. This It doesn't hang on the hole like a surefire material does. It really does drip in the hole. And I, I do think that form liner makes a difference and helps in the in the, in the the um, 
drippability and meltiness of this bag where it just wants to kind of just slowly slide right in the hole to get it hanging there. Uh, the floppiness of this bag makes it very forgiving around the hole. And I, I talked about before about the landing zone that you have. Most bags, you, you kind of have a rectangle shaped landing zone where you the, the box you need to land that bag in to catch the hole and put it in. Bags that are that are fuller, you your your zone becomes smaller. You know, it, it depth wise it's the same, but the width it shrinks in because those fuller bags when they go by the hole, they just want to skip over the hole if they're on the sides of it. When you get a floppier bag, you start expanding that out a little more and a little more because a floppy bag, like this bag, it's got that floppiness to it. All you need to do is just get that corner of that bag to dip in the hole when it goes by. And once it dips in, it's going to grab, spin the bag around, and probably melt it. And it doesn't melt it and it hangs there. It's it's not that hard to collect. There's a good chance, and long, unless it's your last bag, there's a really good chance between you and your opponent that bag is going to go in the hole. The You can also play a dirtier style game with this, right? This material is controllable enough that, that you can throw your blockers up there. This bag makes a phenomenal blocker. It really does. It, it's, it, it's an, it, it, it's, it lays there flat. It takes a lot of space, but it's very easy to collect. And so, and, and all you have to do really when you come to collect is just clip this corner and you can drag it right. You don't have to get crazy in the middle, which means you can put this bag more aggressively on your opponent's side. You know, you split that, that middle line down the hole. Instead of having to put it right in front of the hole, you can get over on your opponent's side and really make them work to get around it. And then on your last bag, you can come through and just clip it and you can take both bags in. You don't have to come real crazy and try to get over, throw a crazy cut shot. If you get it over there, just over that center line, you can come right to the middle. And all you gotta do is just, like I said, just clip it and you'll take your bags. They're very collectible, which makes them fun to play that dirty style game because you can be real aggressive with your blockers. Uh, this is a material that you can cut. I, you can cut pretty well. So you can play those cut shots. I, this bag is not a bag that most of us are going to roll. Uh, I, yeah, again, roll back players can roll it, but for for the average player, we're not rolling this bag. It's just a little too floppy. I'd want a fuller bag for that or a little bouncier fill. But it's cuttable, so you can throw that blocker out there, and you can throw your cut shots, cut around, cut around, and because it's floppy, it's going to grab that hole really well and kind of melt in for you. And then your last bag, you know, you come through, collect, collect it, and take both bags and put your four bags in. While in the meantime, your opponent's struggling to get by that blocker, and hopefully they've thrown an air mail off the back or they've they've kicked off the side, and then you've gotten your two or four or six points, whatever, out of that round and moved on. So definitely a very versatile bag. It's also a bag that it's kind of that transition bag. So I, I, my last review was the 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 Cosmos Take Three, and I talked about the herringbone carpet on that, and how that's a great kind of transition bag. Whether you're coming from fast bags down or carpet bags up, and this is just a notch below that as far as it's just a hair slower, but it's still a, a material that if you can get a fast bag thrower to overlook the fact that it's carpet, if you can take the carpet out of their mind and just have them throw this. This bag is going to play just like their faster bags, just a little slower. So it's a great transition bag to come down if you're trying to come off a faster bag into the carpet world. Or if, you, if you, you're if you a fast bag thrower, but you're going on super fast boards and you just can't control your bag and you want a slower material. This, is, this material, the, 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 the penalty for carpet bags is typically, if you're not flat, it kicks on you and it hangs on the hole. And faster players don't like that. This material really doesn't kick that much on you. And this feel is a very, it causes this bag to land very softly. So even if you're not really fully flat, it's still going to land pretty soft and run pretty short up the board. This material, again, it doesn't hang on the hole. It's very hole friendly. Get this bag in the hand of a fast bag player and let them throw some rounds with it. I think they're going to fall in love with it for being a little slower bag they want to add in their arsenal. Also, carpet bag players, you know, if you're looking to get to a faster bag or you want a bag a little faster, again, you can play this like you would carpet material. So you don't have to change your play style when you go to this. So it's a great transition bag. It's a bag that that I think really think every player should have in their backpack to have in your arsenal because it just it just falls in and covers such a wide range of play playing conditions, play styles. It's a wonderful material. Highly recommend the Coyote. Had a blast throwing it. Now availability, B3 has a website, b3cornhole.com, and their price is incredible. It's one of it's they're one of the best values in all of Cornhole. Set of these runs you 70 bucks shipped to your door. If you want the ACO stamp, it's an extra 10 bucks. So you can get a set of these shipped to you for 80 bucks with the stamp. If you want customs, it's just $10 more to get an awesome custom design on here as well. So even if you got the ACO stamp with the custom design, you're still cheaper than a lot of bags out there on the market. Phenomenal price. Absolutely love it. So go check them out, b3cornhole.com. Check out the Coyote. I think you're going to love it. It's a bag I absolutely love. I highly recommend it to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for supporting.